chemotherapy can have bad side effects. Also. And one of the side effects that it can have is peripheral neuropathy. Now, when people get neuropathy in their calves or their feet, it can be excruciatingly painful, and it can also cause numbness at the same time. Now, there was just recently a study done to show that acupuncture was helpful. It was a small study, but showed that acupuncture was helpful. But this is a big step in mainstream medicine to be oh. looking outside drugs for this horrible condition. That don't work that way. Plus, you have to take a lot of the drugs. And you, next thing you know is you're doing what I call polypharmacy, which is using one drug and then another one to block the side effects of the first one. And the next thing you know is you're on four or five drugs. And it's not uncommon for somebody who has this painful condition uh, to really be suffering and, and then not have a life that works right. And to see that acupuncture does something here is really wonderful because it's showing us we should be using things like acupuncture in, in medicine. We're way too limited in the number of choices that we make in how we treat people, even when we don't have satisfactory solutions, which is the case here. Now, anyone that's ever listened to us probably knows a little something about the photon stimulator. Yeah, indeed. And the photon stimulator is very effective in diabetic neuropathy. Mm -hmm. And our Dr. Saputo has been conducting his own little study within his office that's <laughs> not an official study, but it's, what would you call it, an anecdotal? It's a pilot, it's a pilot, pilot study. study. And, you know, the study that the acupuncturist did only had 11 patients, and they published it. And they only had six patients that were treated and five that served as a control, which is not much. Well, I did 12 patients in my, in my study, and I think there have been a couple since we looked at that pilot study, because we're trying to see if infrared light at about 880 nanometers, which is near infrared light, would have an effect on, on these people who had this terrible condition. And to uh, everyone's surprise, it's amazing. In fact, it's so good that we've been working with the people at the University of California, San Francisco, who have gotten a $6 million grant from the National Institutes of Health to do a study there on patients who have chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. So it's really, you know, and, and really the reason we got that grant is because we did a previous study on patients who had diabetes with neuropathy. And it worked on them. And so NIH was impressed that that was something that was, uh, was working and said, you think it's going to work? Your professors at UCSF will fund it. So that, that study is, is going to start up January of 2012, and the money is in the bank. So we're ready to get started on that. I also have a friend that has uh, cancer, and she had right. chemotherapy. And um, I didn't include her in the study either. Yeah. I should have. That's right. In and she study. would come over to the house because we have it at home once <laughs> in a while. We're, we're fortunate. We've got our own <laughs> supply there. But anyway, it was really fun for me to give her the treatments and to see how much she improved. Because and how long did it take for her to improve when you, when you oh, treat her? Oh, uh, right away. So you're looking right at away. three or four minutes. Yeah, right yeah, away. That's how fast it works. And if you do it for a few days in a row, like for a week, very often the bulk of the symptoms are gone. And there may be a little bit of numbness left, but no pain, uh, which is, and that's on no drugs. Well, it was interesting because she couldn't feel the bottoms of her feet, and it helped her to feel the bottoms of her feet because As she well. was afraid of falling. She would yeah. lose her balance quite a bit. That's the nice thing about restoring sensation because you have to feel the ground to be able to know where your feet are. If you can't feel the ground, you've got to look down there and see what you can see. And at night, when the lights are out, it's a very dangerous thing to do because you have to fall and br break something. And you can also hurt yourself and not even know you've hurt yourself, you yeah. know. And, and a, like diabetics, it's a really serious problem because they don't want to. You don't want to get an the infection. The ulcers and the amputations. Yeah, and fifteen percent of people who have that. So I'm excited about this, and and it's interesting that the study came out. And while it's a small, what I would call rinky-dink study, because it doesn't have a lot of patients, and they acknowledge that and basically say we need further studies. And I'm all for the acupuncture. I mean, if it helps with peripheral neuropathy, add it to the light or add the light to the, you know, to the... Do it all. Why not? I mean, none of that's going to hurt you like the drugs can. Oh, for sure. That's why integrative medicine is so important. So when we look at a condition like this, where the tax uh, taxanes and vinca alkaloids and the platinum compounds are so neurotoxic, uh, we need a solution because it often s limits the amount of chemotherapy patients can get. And that's one of the main reasons why chemotherapy is stopped, is because of these side effects that are so severe in the feet. Especially when it hurts so much because it's like wall pounding kind of hurt. It's a burning, terrible ache uh, that keeps people 
from having balance, from being able to to walk right, and 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 just to avoid the pain. So I'm excited about this and excited about what we're doing personally. It's kind of interesting that that the that we you know who usually report on things are actually doing the research ourselves. So I'm looking forward to some solutions for all kinds of key, of uh, peripheral neuropathy, not just diabetes and not just chemotherapy.